When we have these peacekeeping operations of the militaries in, for instance, the Middle East or, or in Africa, you find all kinds of buildings, but especially adobe buildings. Uh, adobe is around for thousands of years and we don't know the details of it, how effective are the weapons are against adobe structures and what kind of protection adobe can give the militaries to you know, survive and do their actions correctly. The uh, goal of this uh, project was to characterize the material performance of uh, Adobe at a wide range of strain rate induced loadings. For higher ranges corresponding to impacts and blasts, uh, Hopkinson bars machines are needed. Two years ago, I contacted the, the Joint Research Center, which were using the same machine and methods that I was specifically looking for for Adobe. The Hope Lab facility of the Joint Research Center is the largest Hopkinson bar in the world and we use it to test uh, small material specimens or structural components under uh, very fast dynamic loadings that are similar to blast or explosion. The Open Access Initiative started uh, quite recently at the JRC uh, through this, we are offering access to our research infrastructures to external users. We heard about the, the call of the Hop Lab, and that was exactly what we were missing. We tested different kinds of dope. They could test uh, their uh, uh, material under conditions that are not possible to do in other places. So they need it and they were uh, happy to have it. Results are extremely interesting and they unveil uh, some uh, important uh, uh, information regarding the role that uh, strain rates, fibers and uh, water content exert uh, on the mechanical performance of Adobe. I think we made a very fundamental basis to continue and yeah, to design also with Adobe.